Hi, I'm Raul from Niverblara Homestead. Today I'm going to be building a bee waterer. Uh, anyone who keeps bees knows that you need to have a source of water close to the bees so that they can drink and um, you know, they need the water. So I'm going to be building it out of a bucket with a lid that has a pourer and a lid in it. Um, I've got a feeding pan here. Um, I've also got a whole bunch of rocks. Um, which I'm going to clean out and then clean them all off because they will just, they just came out of the yard um, and some corks and then I've also got some mosquito dunks this is a natural um, in, uh, basically uh, mosquito insecticide um, it kills the larvae but it be safe and it's natural it's basically a type of bacteria that specifically target uh, mosquito larva um, it is also it says here for organic production so this if you want organic honey you can use this and then obviously you're gonna need a drill some drill bits of some sort I'm gonna be drilling some holes um, and that's about it it's actually really simple so, let's get started. So I just got some water in a bottle here. And I'm gonna take the easy route in washing these. I'm just gonna put the water in here and scramble these around for a bit. Tip this out. And rinse them off again. They're already looking a lot cleaner. I'll just do it a second time. to put out All right and then got this extra lid I'm just gonna put it all of them onto the extra lid for now it's a bit of dirt in the bottom of this tray so I'm gonna tip the remaining water and rinse the dirt out I, it doesn't matter to me that they get extremely clean because you know let's be honest they're gonna have dirt blown into them anyway and the water's gonna get a bit dirty so if I can get them you know mostly clean which they are then I'm happy
Now I'm gonna go and rinse this out. I can see all the dirt in there, wow. Uh, let me go rinse this out and then we'll be back and we can start drilling holes. Right, my pan is clean now. So I'm just gonna put that out the way and we're going to drill some holes. We're gonna drill two holes in the bottom of this bucket. This is a five gallon bucket. I just got it down at the hardware store. Um, I would recommend that if you're gonna get a bucket that you make sure that it is um, food grade plastic. Uh, this one, at least as far as I know, this is, yes, this is high density. Uh, polyethanol, I think, HDPE. Um, the recycling code is number two. And this, um, if I remember correctly, I, I know that is, it is food grade plastic, um, and I think it's BPA free as well. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is, the reason we have the corks is that we're actually going to um, plug the holes when we refill this, and I'll show you what I'm doing. But for now, what we want is we're gonna take some corks. We're gonna take two corks of the same size, hopefully. Yeah, yeah I think these two are the same size. And uh, we're just gonna measure them and we're gonna drill holes in the side so that these, guys, these corks are able to plug those holes for when we fill this up. So let's, uh, let's open this. All right, a nice big cork. Um, how big are you? You look like you're the same size. You're also about the same size. Okay. All right, excellent. Oh, here's a nice one. That one's nice. About the same size, yeah. All right, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure them or at least maybe just size, <laughs> visually size them against my, um, against my drill bits and then I will drill two holes. Let's see, okay, that's gonna be too small for my regular drill bits. Um, I have some of these guys, which I've drilled through plastic before with, so I know they work. What's this? Yeah, it's a bit on the big side. Three quarter, yeah, I think that'll do. That will do fine, let's do it. Let's go with the three quarter. Because you can always, obviously you can, you can stuff the cork in as far as you can go. Um, and it will squeeze a bit, but seven eighths is yeah, seven eighths is going to be too big. The cork's going to go too far in. So let's go with three quarters. All right. And then I'm just going to do one on either side. You want to make sure that you do them below the level of the um, pan that you're putting them in. Um, so I definitely need to be, the bottom of this label here is under the, is below the pan. Um, so I can definitely do it about there and then I'll do it around about, try to eyeball it and do it about there on the other side as well. They don't have to be perfect, they just have to be big enough. Uh, low enough rather. So I think I'm going to do this, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to give them a little bit of space, I think. Um, so I'm going to do it about here. Let's just clear the plastic. Mm. 
There you go. Ah, excellent. I have to kind of squeeze it in there to get it in, but it fits tightly. And that's the idea, obviously. You want the cork to, um, you want the cork to fit tightly. Let me just see if I can clean up the hole from the inside a little bit as well. There you go. It's better. Oof, getting dirty here. Excellent. All right, now, now all we need to do, put our bucket in there and then put our stones in. Now the reason I'm putting the stones in is because when the bees come to drink uh, you want to give them somewhere that they can crawl down to the water level and, and drink. So because you don't want them you know drowning. If you've ever lived with a, like a pool of some sort, a swimming pool or a pond, um, you'll notice how you often find dead bees in the pond or the swimming pool and that's because they came to get a drink and they fell in and they couldn't get out. So you get specialized bee waterers that have like little steps so that the bees can get out when they fall in because they fall in all the time. Um, but since I'm making a little DIY one, I don't have those fancy steps. And so putting rocks in instead provides them with place where they can climb out when they invariably fall in. I actually think I might have a little bit on, the, on too many rocks in here. I'm going to need to fill this up with water and see how it goes. And any rocks that are, if the, if, if the water, um, I'm just going to start filling it up without the lid on because uh, I want to see where the water level gets to. Um, because um, once the, if it's too, if the rocks are too high, the bees obviously can't get to the water. So, because the water is always going to be at the level of the um, of those holes. So let's just and take a couple out because I think we've got too many here. Yeah, definitely. All right. Whew. I asked my kids to collect these rocks for me, so they went wild. 
Okie dokes. Um, actually, I need to rinse this lid off, but I'll give you a demonstration now of how you actually fill it. Um, so that you can see why I have the corks and exactly how the, the system works. So let me go and rinse the lid off and get some water and I'll be right back. Right, so I have my lid and I've rinsed it off and I've got some water. Let's, uh, let's put this lid on. I think I'm going to need to hammer it on with a mallet. There you go. The reason you want to do that is because uh, you want this to be tight, uh, airtight, because the water is going to fill up here and the vacuum in the top of the, the bucket is going to stop the water from completely overflowing here. So that's why we have also have the corks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of these rocks out of the way and I'm going to plug each of the holes with a cork so I can get it in there there you go that one's in get the rocks out the way here this one's got less rocks in the way push it in get it nice and tight and then Open the top here, and it's got a... Uh, oh, that's not very helpful. Because this is lid comes uh, ready to. Uh, oh, come on. This thing's gonna fall in now, isn't it? Uh, ah, gotcha. Uh, comes ready for if you're trying to transport something. But we're not doing that. So just pull that plug out. So that, okay, let's start pouring the water in.
All right, that's enough for now. I'm not gonna fill it much more. You can see here I spilled some water and that's not, that's not a problem. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take some of these extra rocks and I'm gonna put them in here um, so that any bees that uh, fall into this water or come and drink from this water, because you know, you're gonna get this water um, anytime that there are, um, anytime that you have uh, rain or something like that, you know, they're going to, you're gonna get water up here and they're going to try to drink from that water as well. So this just, um, this, having some rocks up here is a good idea then uh, they can just the prevent them from drowning up here as well all right now that is on tight hopefully that is sealed this seems to be sealed uh, my holes and my corks worked pretty well uh, on this side I see there's a little bit of water but I think once the cork itself was filled with water it just um, it stopped leaking but now do this and now there you go it starts filling up up to the level of the water. Now if I've done this all correctly, which I think I have, there you go, it stops. How awesome is that? Now I'm going to just put rocks back in here until I have enough rocks that they peek out of the water. So again, so that, you know, so that the bees don't drown in the water. But they can still get there, you know, there's lots of little spaces and stuff so they can get into there. I'm just making sure that they can't, um, <clears throat> they don't drown. Well, there you go. There's your bee waterer. <clears throat> you keep your corks handy, but you don't need to keep them with the bee waterer. Um, and you're good to go. Oh, the last thing that I, I almost forgot about is you're gonna wanna put one of these in when you're busy filling it up now. Uh, in order for me to take this out to where the bees are, I am gonna have to, uh, unfortunately, decant all this water again, but that's okay. Uh, this says that you want surface area of standing water. You use one to five square feet. You use a quarter of each of these dunks, as they call them. Um, so for this amount, probably only going to need to use a quarter. And how long do these last for? For 30 days or longer. Okay, so once a month, or even depending on how long it takes them to drink this, but one, at least once a month, come and put a quarter of one of these in here, and that should keep the mosquitoes out. I know we have a big problem with mosquitoes here in the summer, it gets really bad, so uh, this is definitely gonna save us a lot of hassle with us little pests. Thanks very much for watching, um, and I will see you on the next video. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like this, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. You can also find us on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll leave the links in the um, description below the video. I'll also leave links to the lid and uh, to a pan like this on Amazon um, and to the corks and to the mosquito ducks um, in the description below the video so that you can find the stuff and build it yourself. That's all for today. Have a great day and um, I'll see you in the next video.